Cats come back with a vengeance, leading it 13 to four, thanks to a big eight run uprising in the bottom of the seventh inning to Gabriel Doug Flynn. And you got a good look at both coaches as Austin Strickland works to Zach Arnold. The pulmonary, should this score hold up? Anytime you win a series on the road, you're happy. Nick Mingione, not happy about dropping a series at home, of course, but I guarantee he'll be impressed with the way his team bounced back. Good point. And you've already mentioned today the games that the Cats have been in, lost down to Mississippi State, close ball game. Yep. Had another close one here with these guys last night. Strickland pitched in that Mississippi State series in the 4 3 loss. Pitched a scoreless inning, struck out one. We can see he's got a good breaking ball, just hadn't been able to locate it like he wants to yet. Picked up a win in relief at Auburn in the series sweep of the Tigers. A couple of innings, gave up an earned run, walked two, but struck out three. Went four innings against Evansville, struck out six. Well, you have to be impressed with his poise he's shown this year. Doesn't look like a freshman. Mm. Doesn't throw like one either. No, I, he's going to be very good. That time we got a chance to see good heat. And then also come back with the breaking ball. Once he starts mastering that, they may come up with another pitch. You know, they may teach him a change or something too. This is nasty. Yeah, it just never gets there. I don't know. That almost looked like a change or a slider that just didn't slide. But whatever it was, it was a good one. <laughs> Braden Doty, batting for the second time, came on in the seventh. Popped out to the second baseman. Couple of base hits this year for the senior. Backup catcher. Strickland from Archbishop Moeller High School. Good pitch as he runs it down and in on Doty. Well, you look at him. He's got the ball ready to go, too. Get that sign down there, Colton, so I can throw it. You're going to love this. Comes from a family that plays soccer. Oh, boy, he had him the whole way. Glad you let me know that. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Flynn prefers baseball to soccer. This young man in 2018 broke both his wrists in a weightlifting accident. Oh. Now Drew Bianco coming off the bench, batting in the leadoff spot for Trey Morgan to get himself an at bat. Oxford, Mississippi native. Doesn't get cheated. It's a good rip. He's got two home runs. Driven in six. Wow. A lot of movement. Wildcats, one strike away from a win. Another good slider. Left that one up just a little bit. You see Kessler was sitting outside, and that one came right over the heart of the plate. No balls, two strikes. What a way to finish. Austin Strickland strikes out the side, and the Wildcats salvage a win by beating LSU 13 to four, avoiding the sweep and giving them momentum as they enter the upcoming week.
tell you, Dick, they saw a lot of good things today, especially the bounce back after getting beat a couple of games and then yesterday, an emotional game where they're close, but they don't quite get there to win. But today they got some timely hitting, some power from the Cats today. Two run home runs, got some good defense, the pitching looked very good, and they come away with at least one win in this series. So next up for the Wildcats, the Bellarmine Knights. We will have that one for you right here on SEC Plus. It's a 6:30 game on Tuesday as Kentucky moves to 20 and 9, 6 and 6 in the SEC. LSU falls to 20 and 12, and 3 and 9. Now for our crew, and for my pal Doug Flynn, Dick Gabriel. Thanks for joining us. Final Kentucky 13, LSU 4. That's it. So long from Lexington. Thanks, everybody. Way to go, everybody. Appreciate it. Did you get the finals on Strickland? Yes, I did. Please, sir. Two, two, one, one, three. Thanks, man. Thank you.